Hello, happy Sunday. Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. So we're looking at the Amiga today and this is Whizball. So let's wait for the game to load. This is 1988 by Ocean Software. Coding and graphics by and music by Peter someone. <laughs> they didn't give me enough time to read it. But yet there's the Ocean logo here. So I have played this on the Commodore 64 but I don't think I've ever played the Amiga version. So let's have a look. So just wait for the game to load. This is by, it tells the address as well, 6 Central Street, Manchester, M25NS, is that? So I don't know if that place is still there, probably probably taken over by a different company now, that building, but yeah. Okay, so I might be wrong on that, I don't know. There it is, Wiz board, it colours, it colours it in nicely for us. Graphics and programming by Peter Johnson. Some nice music, so let's start the game. So how do we start the game? There we go. So we've got we've got play mode, one player, two player, two player team. So it's got cooperative mode as well. Let's go for one player. So get ready, player one. Right, what I'm just going to quickly do is disable the uh, sound of, for the floppy drive because it seems to be stuck on. Some games were like that. So if I just disable this sound here, press OK. There we go. Okay, so this is Whizball. We've got some parallax scrolling going on. Quite a few layers on the ground, I think, actually. Yeah, not too bad of a game. I'm not sure what you got to do, though. <laughs> Can't remember. It's been a long time. Right, so you can't... Oh, you fuck! So they tried to do, like, a blocky zoom-in, zoom-out uh, thing, a bit like some Super Nintendo games did. Kind of cool. So... Right, okay, so... Sp so space bar pauses it, or does it? Seems to pause it. Right, I seem to, I seem to be bouncing off everything here. So, how do I get past that? Right, shall we try the other way? Ah, whoa! Didn't mean to do that. Well, it's an interesting game, you've got like ball mechanics, like bouncy ball. And you got it's quite easy to uh, bounce too far ahead and get curled right okay so let's get this guy here Ooh. oh you fuck not an easy game if i'm honest oh you boona so let's try that again so can you change any of these things at the top i don't know to be honest Oh, come on. This is ridiculously difficult. Is this regenerated? I think it's regenerating the map. Or putting me in a, a different starting position every time. I can't, it can be quite frustrating to get out the bouncing, actually, and try and get past where you want to go. Right, let's try and get this guy here. Oh, I missed him. Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go, got him. Ooh, we've got something to house here. So spacebar, def how do I select one of them? I'm not quite sure. Okay, we're up to number four now. But how do you select it? Spacebar doesn't select it. Five, six. Oh, you boot that. I was doing good then. Oh, it's always set back to, to square one there. So basically, you shoot them red, like DNA looking things, and then try and collect the thing. So your graphics are okay. Like I said earlier, you've got parallax scrolling. The game's in black and white. I don't know if it changes to color like in certain points of the game. I don't know. But yeah, that's Whizball for you. I mainly do these videos so you can see what the game looks and sounds like. And it's not a really real in-depth review, of course. But yeah, that's Whizball. And I'm going to give this one a nice 7 out of 10. Seems fun, but it seems rather frustrating at the same time. So uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.